Hey there, crafty friends. It's Aynat Kessler with Saturday Mixtravaganza. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to create uh, an art journal page with layers, lots of layers, color layers. We're going to start with um, some stencils by Crafter's Workshop. I really love the stencils. And when you create um, a layered a creation project art journal page and you use color it's best to start with the brightest color first and then build on it with darker colors so I'm starting with the yellow I'm using uh, Dilutions and Lindsay Stamp Gang sprays so I started with the yellow and now light brown I don't want this layer to be very strong so as you know when you use sprays it's always good to dry them with the heat tool after it's dry you can go on to the next layer of these crazy circles just love this stencil and this brown you can see is a bit darker so you build the layers with darker and darker colors and you dry that with your heat tool the logic behind it is that you can always see dark on bright but you can't see bright color on dark so this is the logic behind the order of layers with the changing colors from light to dark so I'm going back to this stencil now using some teal adding another layer of color to the art journal page don't forget to dry each layer so they will be each you, you could see each layer otherwise they will all run and be a blur now we're gonna go to some distress inks which is always always goes on top of a spray and not on the bottom because uh, distress ink is water based and it will all run if you use it first and then spray so in our layer order other than um, the darkness and brightness of colors you should also also pay attention to what kind of uh, material you use what kind of product if it's water based or not if it's uh, uh, liquid or not so when you use distress inks always before sorry always after you use the sprays because everything will run so I'm using different stencils with different colors of distress ink and I'm using usually I like to separate my blenders but in this case I just use the same blender for all the colors and they're all they all blend together and I don't care after the background with the stencils uh, it's time to move on to stamps I'm using the unity layers of life uh, stamps this one is the moments and um, you can actually you can't buy these stamps you it's a it's sort of a, a subscription for a kit a stamp kit you can go to unity uh, website and it's they have the most amazing kits under the layers of life label and I really like them so anyway when you stamp uh, I usually like to work with permanent inks so again they will not run and not smear or smudge or whatever because uh, they're permanent if you use distress ink which are not permanent then the image that you'll get will be less crisp and it can run if you decide later to add something which we will so I'm stamping this I'm using distress ink and because I don't have a red permanent ink that's very bad but uh, I will later show you a method a technique 
to overcome the problem with the distress ink that it won't run. So I'm going to cut some butterflies from the pattern paper. It's by Kaiser Craft. And I'm going to add it to my art journal page. You probably noticed by now that it's going to be with butterflies. That's the theme of today's art journal page. So I'm cutting um, three butterflies and I will add them to my paper later after they're cut. So we talked about art journaling before and I already told you that they can be very personal with messages that speaks to you but they're also a lot of fun because it gives you a chance to experiment with techniques and products that you usually don't work with and then you can just try try it on the paper and see what happens so this is how I created my uh, let's call it layers my order for layers when I um, wanted it to stay crisp and not move or smear then I realized I need to use sprays before I use distress ink because obviously once I didn't and all the distress ink became one big blur of color and I didn't like that of course you can do that if that's your intention but if not then it's best to use this method so I'm adding my butterflies to the paper and now I'm going to teach you a really cool technique with perfect pearls uh, powders you take a little bit of water just uh, regular water I'm spritzing a little bit just a little bit and with your fingers it's time to get your fingers really dirty with your fingers you take a little bit of powder and you mix it with the water the more you mix the pastier it gets my point is to create a paste with the perfect pearls and I want to add my paste you see all the shimmer it's amazing so I what I'm gonna do I'm going to add my paste to the art journal page and the reason I want to do that is because I want to um, tie everything together and get rid of the all the white spaces that I have in between and this paste when you rub it on the paper will not smear your distress ink and it's very light and gentle so it will not cover uh, the other patterns and shapes and colors that you have it will just blend with everything else and it will create uh, another layer but a very very gentle layer of color and it will tie everything together so this paste is uh, kind of a bluish teal and what you do is you take your fingers or your finger and you start rubbing it all over the paper as you can see it creates very light teal on the paper without covering the the other patterns and shapes and colors on the paper if I were to spray at this point even if I use a very light spray like glimmer mist everything would start running and it will cover some of the patterns the more gentle patterns and colors so this is a really great solution if you just want to add very subtle color to your page so I'm adding more and more teal. You see how it really tie everything together, gives it more depth. Now I'm going to add um, some um, perfect uh, gold, perfect pearls. Um,
after I finish with the teal. Adding a little bit more water because after a while it dries up so you have to add some water. Now I'm adding the perfect gold If you feel it's too pasty or too dark or you don't have enough, then you can add some more water and more perfect pearls. It gives everything a really, really nice shimmer. Gentle but visible. I really like that. So just add it wherever you want some gold. You see how it ties everything together? And now to finish it off I'm going to add some bronze. I'm mixing everything at the same place. I don't care if it mixes and you get all of a sudden you get a, a completely different color but it mainly it remains the one that you meant in the beginning. So it's not a problem to mix everything on the same plate. I'm adding the bronze on the edges. It's darker so this will give me more definition and the frame to my page. So shimmery. Just love it. You see how everything is now tied together? And you can still see everything, all the patterns and the circles and the yellows and everything. Um, better to dry everything with your heat tool. Now I want to add a little bit more red. It's not red enough for me. So I'm using some um, fired brick distress ink and I'm just adding a little more red pattern with the stencil. And this is why I use the perfect pearls because I can go on and add something on it even if it's distressing it won't run or or smidge. So now I'm adding my title. I'm using grunge board letters by Tim Holtz. I love this material. It's so soft. Really nice to and easy to work with. I'm going to use the word fly. You probably could have guessed it by now since we have all those butterflies there. So fly is always a very good advice. So your dreams can fly and your imagination can fly and it's a good thing basically. Your spirit can fly. I'm going to um, color it with stays on, black stays on. It's going to be very dirty on my fingers but I don't care. I want it to be very very black. So I'm just going over all the letters, all the grunge word letters with my stays on black ink. And I'm going to add a little bit of my Perfect Pearl paste on the sides. And I've added my letters to my art journaling page. And now it's ready. So thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you were inspired. And I hope you'll go and try all these techniques on your, on your own art journal page. And I would be very happy to see what you created you can always tag me and have a great weekend and see you all next time